I don't know how to start this one off. It's uh... I, I... I can't believe it's finally here. Um... I'm... <laughs> oh my god, I'm seriously about to tear up. Um... Compose yourself. Uh, <clears throat> Bloodstain, Ritual of the Night, Kickstarter edition. <laughs> uh, I I don't want, I don't know what to say. What's in the box? Uh, duh. Um, I never I I never thought I would see this. Um, I've been let down by a lot of Kickstarters. I've talked about it a lot in the past, but uh, when all is said and done. When the game comes out, and you get the game in your hands. You know, Castlevania is really special to me. I don't know, the very first time that I played Castlevania II Simon's Quest, it was... It wasn't just a game. Like, everything else at that point, other than maybe Metroid, everything else was, was a game. And... Uh, Castlevania just felt to me like like home. I know that's weird to say, but um, yeah. So I never thought I'd see another Castlevania game. I thought the series was done, and uh, I know this isn't Castlevania, technically, but still, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty special to me. Alright, here we go. Unboxing. Hobby knife. We are going to try to attempt to keep this box intact. PS4, backer edition, slipcase cover. Now, I did do the $100 tier, which gets you the Ayumi Kojima slipcase. That is not currently available at this point. I guess they're shipping them later. Um, you know, I was gonna do a separate video on this whole Kickstarter debacle uh, because they recently announced that uh, the Kickstarter rewards were uh, the like certain parts of the backer exclusive stuff like the digital download stuff it's not gonna be backer exclusive instead it was gonna become DLC basically and uh, I have a I have a problem with that personally because um, you know if you sell something as backer exclusive uh, then that's what it is um, so take this video is not about that, but the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, I was kind of down and out uh, a little bit. I know that's so dumb to, to think that somebody would be that bent out of shape about it, but I think it was more the community was getting pretty toxic about the whole thing. And so it wasn't until I, I took a step back and just kind of I started playing Curse of the Moon because that came in and uh, I was getting really kind of hyped up for the game again. And then when I saw the Ayumi Kojima art, I was just like blown away and they announced that anyone who pre-ordered that version or anybody who got that tier uh, also gets a 16 by 20 poster, which is awesome. I mean, they didn't have to do that. They just threw that in because it's late. So I, I want to give a shout out to the Bloodstained development team and of course, uh, uh, what is it, 505 Games? Yeah, 505 Games, our play for this. This is just, uh, you know, incredible. I can't wait to play this. I'm so stoked. Uh, so here's the side. I love the hologramness of it. Bloodstained Campaign Backer. That's so cool. With the whip and the rose and, ah, oh, it's just... This is just awesome. And here's just the regular standard PS4 edition. Let's see what it comes with. I don't know if it comes with a manual, I doubt it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This is just like retail, if I recall. Yeah. It's just the retail copy. No codes or whatever. Uh, so I also ordered the uh, Switch version on Best Buy's website. That comes with a case, so I'll do an unboxing for that uh, next week. Bloodstained 
ritual of the night. Four years waiting for this game. And uh, I can't believe I like almost legit got like choked up back there. Uh, just incredible. I'm stoked, I'm psyched, I'm pumped. I'm gonna go play it. Let me know what you thought in the comment below. The comment below. Not the comments, but the comment. I'm so tongue-tied and just excited. Later.